Hello, my wonderful Biafran brothers and sisters. Uh, I beg this update where they come from and now is coming from the office of the Biafran uh, Republic government in exile, Prime Minister uh, Mazi Simon Epa Njoko, all the way from Finland. They're going to see how it takes to come. And this today happens to be the eighth day in the month of uh, January in the year of 2024. Update on the sit at home. And I still remember say Monday, every Monday, now sit at home. And this one is a live informative and also live broadcast coming from the people of the Biafran Republic government in exile. And also the Biafran government people where therefore we obodo Biafra land. So make on a hear the thing, how it take be. Please, oh, I'm going to take this news. It's a very brief oh, and also uh, some reactions before we can be able to jump in to what uh, people say about, uh, they said, they don't use to talk ill of the dead, but uh, look at what is happening. You know, it has been circulating on the social media. TB Joshua raped to torture worshippers. Fake miracles. BBC report. If now for Nigeria, I could tell you, ah, why are you going to talk about a person who don't die? Uh, why are you going to come to bring the matter out? This one, the investigation has been on for a, a while before uh, 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 the prophet or the pastor or the man of God or the deacon kick the bucket. So the message is out here now on social media and also people who really want to know exactly the kind of life where our pastor or our prophet lived before he buy. Uh, you don't dare here. This one is a BBC report. So let us start the news from the city at home and the civil disobedience in Biafra land. I would like you to do me a favor, like this message, share it, comment on it, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. Remember, my name is Steady Man. I'm Andy Anese. I am reporting live from the platform of Ogute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth. Breaking news. The Biafra government civil disobedience for the declaration of the restoration of independent state of uh, Biafra and uh, demand for the release of Mazen Namdekano and other political prisoners. This is to demonstrate that Nigeria as a faith state has lost its statehood to Biafra government in Biafra territory. This one is H1 2024. And so they take talk. Um. So, my wonderful people, let us go straight to the comment section uh, to see the reactions of our brothers uh, who are also following up. Uh. This one is a uh, makeup para. He said, Mazinam the Kano must see Biafra restoration. Now, so this is our brother, take talk his own. Uh. This one is Wako Clips. The people follow others from the Biafra government in exile. Now, so in take talk this one. This one is a uh, added tone. Uh. Good morning, America. How is everyone doing? Who is talking about America? Yeah, talking about USB, United States of Biafra, not USA. So, my dear, go and take your medicine. Uh, this one is a G. Martin C. I've been at our way to sing music at China West Life. Hey, my brother, this is your name, eh? Oh, Bunga. Mom, they worry all of you guys. Oh, see? Mom, they worry all of you guys. Sooner or later, you will realize that Epa is doing great harm to the region. If you like, sit at home for the whole year. You know, consign Sanwo, Sanwo, Ulu, Bamega in Lagos. Lose plus lose. Waiting consign Lagos and this matana. I don't know why some people say to go school is a problem for them. They're talking about sad is now. You don't carry Lagos matter, come put inside. Now, even for own, those self, you know, if you comment for anything that happened for own, nobody go come comment for anything that happened for Biafra land. Come they carry Lagos matter, they put inside. Shame on this Yoruba, Yoruba, uh, Scalawats, or be Yoruba miscrants that fall everywhere. Ndara and Dara, sabotage of the highest order. Mache BA, he said the Biafra government is the only government we know and obey. Hashtag free Maze Namdekano. Now, this one is O O N on one. According to him, he said, At Simon Epa, our PM, I appreciate you for your good job so far. I suggest you implore the people of Benue to join in this Monday sit at home since they have joined the United States of Biafra. I believe that the act. We gather more momentum and send right message to the world and also to the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. Look, Epate, the Nigeria Islamic State has not seen anything. We in the homeland are ready to obey only Biafra government in exile command, according to our brother. Then this one comes from a Solomon Eze Chigozie. He said, Biafrans are more Jewish than those in Israel. What Hamas and Gaza saw 
will be repeated here. And so the blood attacked on this one. But by there, we don't uh, we don't want uh, war. And uh, what we want is a peaceful exit from the contraction called Nigeria. Through our civil disobedience and from other etc. etc. What we will do for Biafra land is enough for the world to know that we are already and prepared to leave that contraction. And the reason why I keep on reading the reactions is for you listening to me, hearing my voice, for you that is commenting, for you that have subscribed to my channel, and you are among the viewers on my, on my channel, for you to know what also to drop at the comment section because it is very, very necessary that you watch any content, drop what you think about the, uh, about the content, forget about whatever the person say or whatever they do, or forget about the headlines. Eh? Leave it happy here that I'm going to ban a moto. Uh, but I don't tell you to go and enter uh, uh, ambulance. Uh, well, even if the ambulance is available, as long as you go, can you go reach where you are going, my dear? Well, let us go. We move. This one is uh, him, Archie. What did he talk? He said, Our amiable Prime Minister, please extend this uh, seat at home to Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Abuja, Portacot, and Lagos are bleeding seriously. We are winning now. We are sitting at home in Southeast and the North and South. West are finding it difficult to breathe. I cannot breathe, for, according to Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, he said, allow the poor to breathe. But the question there is Tunumbu and his ministers allowing the poor to breathe. One of his ministers now, Beta Edu from the Cross River, that one is also in Biafra, no, but that one, eh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't use money to con uh, confuse them. Uh, they don't use chuku chuku self for can't confuse them. Every time she could just rub pancake like person where they go down, like mask where they go dance. Uh, I, 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 I am uh, 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 go for social media, the, the, the open mouth uh, left, right, and center. And that and that. And now she don't siphon over 585 million naira to private uh, account and saying that people want to uh, tarnish her image. Image in around Chineke Papa Walk and that and that. Simon Ekpa. Okay, Nobi. He said, Biafra Republic government in exile under the leadership of our Prime Minister and Simon Epa is in charge in the whole of Biafra territory. Okay, let us take one more reaction before we can be able to jump in to the news of our prophet and the, the founder of a synagogue church of uh, Africa, Webby TV Joshua. This one is a uh, Ben Tochi. Find Musa anywhere he is. Uh, he is okay, his men. Is should uh, find him and uh, my brother. This is your comment. I don't even know where you are heading to. Find Musa anywhere he is. Men should find him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't know what you mean, but only you know what it means. Anyway, let us take the two last comment before we can head it to another news. This is your strategy will not bring Biafra. Bitter truth. According to this one, is a hard truth. Now they talk this one. This one, Nasim Chetima, you are doing more harm than good to the innocent citizens. Come to Nigeria. Okay. Oh. Make it come to Nigeria. Person will not come to Nigeria and kidnap them. But people wait there for Nigeria where they do nonsense. Even the governors and the ministers where they sponsor terrorism in Nigeria are the ones being praised and even uh, secured. And you are telling me come to Nigeria. That Nigeria, eh? Nigeria will be there. Nigeria will kill you. Nara, nara. You are on the look for who to kidnap. Well, uh, look at uh, another different news where we have here uh, TV Joshua, rape to torture the worshippers. Uh, and also faked a lot of miracles, according to BBC report. So let us see. Three years after his death, so it's only three years now. Where this man, oh boy, this 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 time they run. Where are we running to self? Anyway, let us proceed. The late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, uh, Temitope Balogun TB Joshua, has been accused of raping and torturing some of his worshippers while alive. An investigative report by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, spanning over two years, said five Britons accused T.B. Joshua of rape and forced abortions in a secret Lagos compound spanning almost 20 good years. Hey, my brother, uh, something there for this life, oh. Wonder shall never end, oh. Let me repeat this uh, statement that they made here, uh, so that uh, anyone where really they listen to me could also the. Uh, um, know exactly what is happening. According to them, they said an investigative report by the British Broadcasting Corporation spanning over two years said five Britons that is five British citizens accused T.B. Joshua of rape and forced them into doing abortions in a secret Lagos compound spanning almost 20 good years. 
Also, the letter the evangelist was accused of faking his uh, miracle healings, which were broadcast to millions of people around the world. One of the alleged victims, a British woman called Rare, was 21 years old when she abandoned her degree at uh, Brighton University in 2002 and was recruited into the church. She spent the next 12 years as one of the Joshua's so-called disciples, inside his mess like concrete compound in Lagos. We all thought we were in heaven, but we are in hell, and in hell terrible things happen, she told the BBC. Rhea said she was sexually assaulted by Joshua and subjected to a form of solitary confinement for two good years. The abuse was so severe, she said she attempted suicide multiple times inside the compound. T.B. Joshua was the founder of a, a synagogue, a church of a African or all, all nations, okay, synagogue of church of all nations, which is situated in the Ikotun area of Lagos State. He died a week before his 58th birthday on June 5 of 2021. After conducting a service, my dear, I will not have anything to say on this. Just I allow the my listeners, subscribers, viewers, commentators, if you have anything to say about this issue of a TB Joshua, drop it at the comment section. I am nobody to judge, but forget, don't uh, say that I cannot judge you. Uh, but uh, uh, um, uh, I leave uh, the, the this matter to the general public. Make on a user amount to talk. Uh, it is good that, uh, um, I mean, it is not good to talk ill of the dead, according to Nigerian, uh, what they call it, according to Nigerian culture. I've been wearing a Nigerian culture, self. I've been a uh, European culture. I don't even know where we, where we see that one. My brother, what is bad is bad. If anybody do anything bad, condemn it while the person is living. Uh, even when the person must have departed, condemn it. Not uh, every time now they say, oh, why are you talking ill of somebody who don't pass away, my dear? If that person does not live a righteous life, and when the person passed away, is the time you need to uh, open up and all these things. You do it. Because most of them, if they are alive and you open this secret, they will hunt you down and kill you. They are the ones that say they are worshiping God. Though. But instead of them to allow their God to walk, to walk and fight for them, the they, 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 they disease to be taking the laws into their hand by killing a lot of people, all in the name of uh, trying to protect their names. Anyway, I don't have more to say. Let me allow the general public to add their opinion on the comment section. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Mek. I'm Andrea Neze. I'll be right back again with another blockbuster. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more and more videos to come your way. Bye for now, my people. Kemesiano.